New details leading to new questions in the death of this man, retired NFL player Louis Nix III. His body found in a Jacksonville pond four days after he disappeared. The questions are centered around what JSO did the night Nix was last heard from. Multiple sources say there's an internal affairs investigation underway. So, news for Jack's reporter Corley Peel joining us now at the Broxton Bay Apartments. That's where Nix's body was found. Corley, his family questions whether he could have been found sooner. For the first time, we're learning about a witness who says they saw what appeared to be a car that went into this retention pond the day before Lewis Nix was reported missing. And I spoke with his parents who say they don't understand. They want to know why they're just learning about this witness and why they didn't find the son sooner when someone saw a car go into this pond where his body was found. Nearly two months after losing their son. He, he made us proud parents in life and even in his death. He touched so many lives. Louis Nix III's parents so learn about a witness board. connected to the former Notre Dame star's death. All oh, first time hearing of this, so that surprised us. This supplemental police report shows on February 23rd, a witness saw lights and heard a splash while driving by a retention pond at the Broxton Bay Apartments. Three minutes after the 911 call, police say officers showed up to this retention pond, searched the area, but couldn't find anything. The next day, the retired Jaguars player was reported missing. Police say his girlfriend told officers he never made it to her home at the complex the night before. Three days later, police say someone saw Nix's body in the pond, which led to the dive team pulling his car from the water. Stephanie Wingfield questions why the dive team didn't search the pond for her son the night the witness called 911. Whether they have gotten him alive or just gotten him that day, you know, that would have been some kind of closure for us to sleep at night. Four days with no sleep, four days with worrying, so that would have eased some of that pain. If they didn't see no car, if it was negative, you would think they went back and found out who called them to be sure. The report shows Nix drowned and his blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. Nix's family didn't get a chance to see their son after he was recovered because of the condition of his body, which also led to him being cremated. Because they explained to us that had it been a little more sooner, if even if he, he was on the water, a day or two, we, we would have been able to view his body or give him a proper burial. Sources tell us that there is an internal affairs investigation. We have reached out to JSO for comment, but per policy, they do not acknowledge internal affairs investigations until they are finished. Coming up tonight, 11, we hear from our News for Jack's crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, about his thoughts on how JSO handled the case. Reporting live, Courtley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.